Before we get started, I have mentioned to you a few times some stickers from my favorite sticker shop called Tijera de Papel, and she has a shop on Etsy. And the last time I mentioned her, several of you went and made purchases from her shop. Thank you for that. Because of that, she reached out to me and said thank you, and she sent me a little package with some freebies and a very nice note. She also sent a coupon code for you guys, so I'm gonna put that in the description box below, and the code is AUTUMN, and that'll get you 15% off at her shop. But I wanna show you the stickers that she sent to me. Quite a few, I was really surprised by this. She sent this cute little VW bus, adorable. I love vintage things and vintage cars, so that's perfect. She sent these suns. She sent these two sticker sheets, which were some that I said were my favorite from her shop. She also sent all of these. She sent this assorted sticker pack, which has some really cute stuff on it. I'm gonna use that cake for my birthday. So please make sure you go check out her shop again, and again, I will link that below. I also wanna mention one thing. I already filmed this comparison video, but I forgot to mention something. And that is, I know in the PM agendas from Louis Vuitton, I've seen videos where people remove the rings and they either insert larger rings or they just leave the rings out. And I just wanna let you know about that. I don't know if the rings and the GM are easily removable without damaging the piece. I feel like I tried to remove them before and maybe it did damage it, but just letting you know that that might be a possibility of another way to use the GM agenda. All right, let's get to the comparison. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury on a budget, so if you're into that sort of thing, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. Today I have a comparison, this was requested by a few people, comparison between my Louis Vuitton Agenda GM and my Louis Vuitton Desk Agenda. And let's just jump right into this. First of all, I'll list dimensions down below, but they are actually the same size. They are the same height. And this one looks thinner right now, but that's because I have it stuffed. It's actually the same uh, like length across, the same, the same width this way and this way. On the GM agenda, this is a set length for the most part because it has rings inside, which I'll show you. But this one is more expandable, the desk agenda, because you can stuff it. There's no limitation, really. It gets as fat as you can get it. And you could do the same thing with this too, but you have a limitation with this clasp if you want to be able to close your GM agenda. So let's start by opening these up. Um, I mean, the only outside difference is that this has the GM Agenda has that clasp, the snap on it. And otherwise, they look the same on the outside. So let's open these up and take a look at the interior structure and some of the pockets. And I kept all my things in them so you could see how I'm using them. I also have, and I'll link this below, I have a detailed flip through of my desk agenda. And I also have a recent video of how I use my different agendas. So if you're wondering why I would have both of these, I don't just have both of these, I have a few more and I do use all of them. Let's start with the agenda GM. When we open this up, we'll compare these front pockets here. And then we open up the desk agenda. It's gonna be a little difficult to hold both of these because the desk agenda especially is heavy and because it doesn't have rings that are holding things together, if I just hold the bottom, it things kind of fall out. So I have to hold it a little better than that. All right, as far as the pockets on the interior here, first of all, if you missed this in another video, neither of these are hot stamped. These are stickers that I put on here that I got at Hobby Lobby. So with the desk agenda, you have this one pocket here that takes up pretty much the width of the front cover. Behind the inserts that I have here, there's this one secretarial pocket that folds out. And then there's also this one big pocket that goes the entire height of the agenda. And in that, in that big pocket, I have inserted 
one of the two notebooks that I keep in here. So that's one thing you can do with that pocket is insert the cover of a notebook. The GM Agenda also has a long pocket here, but it is not as long as the one on the desk agenda. So if I put those side by side, you can see that the desk agenda pocket is larger. And again, I'll have the dimensions of these below. The desk agenda has that one secretarial pocket, but the agenda GM has two. So it's got one here and it has another here, and it does not have that pocket that goes top to bottom. On the agenda GM in the center, so on the spine, it has the six ring binder clip system. The desk agenda doesn't have anything like that, and when I have both of my notebooks in here, it's pretty floppy, and that's what allows it to just kind of fall over and fall around. And that's one of the things that I really love about this. As I'm going through these things, I'll tell you some pros and cons. I, I like that floppy feeling of it, but it can be a con if you're trying to hold your notebook and write in it uh, when it's not on the surface because it, it just kind of falls over on you like this. That can be frustrating. So you've got to hold it in your arm and write like that. I think that's why it's called a desk agenda. It's meant to sit on a desk or some sort of hard surface to support it because it doesn't have support on its own. The GM agenda, however, with that binder system, that gives it support and structure. So it is very easy to hold this and write in it at the same time without it having to be on a desk. The inserts that you would put in both of these are A5 size inserts, so that's half of a letter sheet of paper. That means it's eight and a half inches this way and five and a half inches this way. For me, I find that the perfect size for most things that I want an agenda for. It's a great size to have a calendar system, for example, and it's a great size for note taking. Whereas I find with the medium agenda, and I'll hold up the medium and the GM together so you can see. So here's the medium, it's quite a bit smaller and the pages are much smaller. Here's a page from the MM notebook versus the GM notebook and you can see there's a huge size difference there. Now let's look at the pockets in the backs of these notebooks. The back of the GM has that one pocket again that does not go the whole length. That pocket there is the same size as the one in the front. And it does not have any other pockets above that, no secretarial pockets or anything, but it does have that top to bottom pocket. So you could put a notebook back here. The thing about that is if you put a notebook back here, it can get in the way of the pages in your binder. It can get in the way of the rings. So if you put a notebook back here, I'd recommend a very thin notebook not something as thick as the ones I have in the desk agenda. Also notice the back here has this pen loop and that is a normal size pen loop for a normal size pen unlike the agenda PM from Louis Vuitton where you have to have a pen that you bought for a dollhouse because it is so, so tiny. That is a big advantage to the GM agenda, having that pen loop. It is very handy to have that. Of course, there are pen loops you can purchase to strap onto the outside of your desk agenda, but it is really nice to have this built in one. That's one advantage the GM agenda has over the desk agenda. I will say that when you have this open and you're writing or you're trying to flip pages, that this strap that keeps the agenda closed gets in the way sometimes. It'll get in the way of your hand when you're writing, but then it also gets in the way when I'm trying to turn pages, and especially when I have the tabs here, it'll get caught in the tabs. And actually sometimes I purposefully will put it behind a tab to keep it out of the way so it's not flopping around. Here's the back of the desk agenda, and I'll take things out so you can see all the pockets here. It does have that big top to bottom pocket again, so you can have two agendas or two notebooks inserted in here. It again has this pocket, but it's not as wide as the one on the front. So you can see the difference there pretty clearly. Now I'll take out all the things I have in that pocket so you can see. Up here it has some credit card slots. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, card slots. No pen loop, no strap to hold it in place. I think one of the things that people worry about with the desk agenda is that it doesn't have that strap to keep it in place and people feel like it'll open up. 
I have not had that problem, but I also, when I store it, I have it in my handbag like this, where I can reach in and pull it out. And actually I'd say that the GM agenda is a little more difficult to get in and out of bags because the little flap gets in the way. It, this can catch on things and I have to be careful about how I put it in bags. What I usually do is put the agenda on that side where the flap is to keep it in place and then put these down into a bag together so it's protected. It's heavy, it's heavy and a lot of paper and bulky. For the pen loop, there are some elastic pieces I've seen that wrap around the front cover that have a little loop where you have your pen on the outside. I've also seen some elastic pieces that'll wrap around the whole agenda to keep it together that way or wrap around this way to keep it together if that's something that's really important to you. Depending on the system you use, you will get some indentations from rings. These, I don't know if it'll show up. I think you can barely see them there. There's some indentations on the front cover from those six rings there. And then in the front of this notebook, I have a happy planner and you can see on the secretarial pocket there are those little indentations already. I've only had this for about two months. So that happened pretty quickly. So that's something to be aware of with both of these agendas. I'm also noticing that with both of them, the edges, the top and bottom will bow out over time. Can you see that? I'm trying to get it to focus there. You see, especially on this, how it's thinner here and then it bows out. That's just something normal that happens with these agendas. So I wouldn't worry about that too much. That happens with my medium agenda too. It's just the nature of the objects and the materials. And I'll say with the snap here, you're going to get some wear over time. Some of that gold color is gonna wear off and you'll be able to see the silver. So if that bothers you, Vuitton will replace those snaps. I think it's something like $30 to have one replaced, but it doesn't bother me enough to have that done. Also be aware, and this is more obvious on my medium one, my desk agenda and my GM aren't having this problem yet, but you're going to, any piece you have, whether it's an agenda or a sunglasses case or a wallet or a pochette matisse, any piece you have that has a curved piece that's going to open and close and bend a lot, eventually you are very likely to have glazing issues. I don't know if that's showing up very well, but some of the glazing is missing around the edge here. Might show it better on my wallet. You can see right here, there's a little piece of glazing missing. That's just normal for Vuitton these days. I think that's been normal for a while actually. So do I have a preference between the two? I don't. I was trying to give you pros and cons and things I've noticed from how I've used them that other people might not think to say. I have noticed with the Agenda GM, I got this thinking that would be my calendar, my notebook, everything I needed, and I did find that I was too limited in the space because of the rings and the snap closure. So I just use this as my calendar now and it's not that full, you know, compared to what some other ones could be, where it could be stuffed and be much thicker. I have had it thicker before. And that said, I've got all this in my desk agenda, but no calendar in here. And I do need a weekly calendar. That's all this is. So for me, I need both of these. Um, as much as you can expand the desk agenda and people have done them thicker than this, I still have so many things to write down and keep track of that it's helpful for me to have both pieces. There are lots of similarities to each. There are also lots of differences. They both have their own pros and cons. So my advice if you're trying to choose between them is just to think about what you need and think about some of the things I said about how I use them and, and the pros and cons and see if there's one that stands out for you that would be a better fit. You can find both of these pre-loved. I think it's easier to find the desk agenda at a cheaper price. These retail for $600 thereabouts. They come in monogram, damier ben, and damier graffite, the black and gray color. And I think in epi and taiga maybe. The agenda GM comes in monogram, damier ben, epi, and taiga, and it retails in canvas for $775. So it's almost $200 more than the desk agenda 
just out of the gate. However, when you go to the pre-loved market, this one is still pretty pricey. The cheapest, I usually see them as 500 plus, more like 550, 600. Whereas the desk agenda, I've seen as low as three or 400. 350 400-ish. So if you don't want to pay retail for these, that's a good option. Both of these can be difficult to find from Louis Vuitton, especially the Agenda GM, which they call the large agenda or large ring agenda. It really depends. I happened to find this. It was it was not available for a long time at Louis Vuitton and then it was suddenly available again and was for a while and may still be. So I was able to buy this one retail, but I purchased this pre-loved from The Real Real. I got a really good price on it, four or 500, I think. And it even had some inserts and rulers. I, I got four rulers with it. The rulers are impossible to find. Here, I'll show you one. Here's one of the rulers and no, none of them are for sale. They're so hard to find, I want to keep them. I've seen just the rulers for sale for over $100 before. Crazy. But I would really recommend going to the Real Real. I've seen them on Fashion File too. That's a great place to buy them. But on the Real Real is where I see, if you go to the photo that shows it open, that's where you'll see what it comes with. And you won't get a very good picture if it comes with a bunch of things, but you can look for the ruler. You can look for other inserts and it'll tell you if it has some inserts, but it, they're not very specific about it. But that's a good tip for getting some little freebies with your agenda. Let me know what other questions you have about these two pieces and thank you to the people who requested this video. If you have both pieces, what is your preference and why? Or if you have chosen between them before, which one did you choose and why? Leave all that in the comment section below to help out other people who are trying to make that decision for themselves. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye.